Twitter. Hey teacher, how are you doing today? I'm fine, and what about you? I'm very fine, thank you. Are mm. you ready for today's lesson? Very, very ready. I'm also very ready. Mm. Let me welcome the learner mm. so that we can all learn together. Okay. Hello Lana. welcome to today's lesson. I hope you're ready for today's lesson because we promise you fun. And as you know, music is so much fun. I'm your host, Sheila Ligeo, and together with me is... Teacher Joyce Agik, your music teacher. Karibu sana. So, okay. teacher, hmm. what do you have for us today? So, we are continuing with creating or composing music. Yes. And we still want to look at rhythm. Rhythm. And if you can remember our mm -hmm. last lesson, mm -hmm. we said that we can create rhythm by doing what? You said mm -hmm. we can create rhythm by clapping uh -huh. or tapping or yes. stamping. Yes, so we can create rhythm by clapping mm -hmm. or tapping. Yes. And for us to keep the rhythm, we must maintain a beat. Yes, the rhythm beat. Yeah. Yes. Just give me an example of a beat that we can play. This. Yes. That is a beat. So, yeah. and it is constant. Yeah. And you remember we even touched the right part. The left side. Oh, the left, yes. it was the left side. To yeah. feel the heartbeat exactly yes and it's it had a constant pulse Beat. yeah exactly mm. so in this lesson uh -huh. you are supposed to interpret mm. rhythmic patterns involving crochet and quiver wow finally mm. <laughs> i know i know you're wondering crochet and quiver those yeah. are french names yeah we have okay. a crochet mm -hmm. and a quiver yeah but not the crochet that we use eh? oh not for the one knitting. for knitting yeah you are going to <laughs> see a symbol that shows a crochet mm -hmm. and another symbol that uh -huh. shows a quiver a quiver so okay. uh, let me just repeat that by the end of this lesson mm -hmm. you should be able to interpret rhythmic patterns involving crochet and quiver Okay. using French rhythm names, which are ta and tate. Ta yes, so Lana, I hope you've had that. Mwalimu just said by the end of the lesson, we should be able to interpret rhythmic patterns by using the crochet and the quiver, which are the French, uh, it's the French French name. rhythm names, yeah. French rhythm names. And we use ta and tate. Exactly. Yes. So you remember, we learned about rhythm and we clap the rhythm. Yes. Now we want to interpret them. Okay. Which one is ta and which, which one, one is, is tate? Tate. Yes. Yes. And we are even going to see the symbols of yeah. those names. Now, another question. How are rhythms created? Yeah, I remember <laughs> in the last lesson, mm. we you, you said that they are created by tapping or clapping yeah, exactly is it still the same answer it's the same answer oh, yeah so okay. we are good to go <laughs> we are good okay. to go now i have activity mm -hmm. and this activity is done in form of singing wow yeah that's my most favorite part <laughs> I know. and you know that i know you enjoy singing <laughs> so much so this is how the song goes uh-huh clap 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 your hands clap your hands together clap 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 your hands, clap your hands together. Clap a little Whoa. faster now. Clap along with me. Clap a little slower now. Clap along with me. Wow. I yes. noticed something. You noticed something? Yes. So, Lana, I want you to listen to the song. Sing the song fast before mm -hmm. you do any clapping. Yes. So, are you ready? Very ready. Can we sing together? Yes. Lana, are you ready? <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> okay. Ready, go. Clap, 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 clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap a little faster now, clap along with me. Clap a little slower now. Clap along with me. Woo! Hey, 
I noticed something. Hey, what did you hmm? notice? When you sang clap a little faster now, you kept the beat. But when you came to that part of mm. clap a little slower now, mm. it made it sound so beautiful when you slowed it yes, down a bit. Exactly. Mm. Now with action, you are uh -huh. going to clap mm -hmm. and sing at the same time. Yes. So the beat. Mm -hmm. Oh. So we clap how the song goes. Yes. Okay. And you sing. And we Are sing. Are you ready? Yes. Go. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap a little faster now, clap along with me. Clap a little slower now, clap along with me. You wow. clap so well. So nice. So, uh -huh. you are going to see the French rhythm names. Uh -huh. So that if you are given a song like this, for example, mm -hmm. clap, clap, clap your hands, it will go like this. Ta, 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 ta. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. So what I was talking about, ta and ta, uh -huh. now you can put them in a song mm. or yeah. even counting did we count one, one two one, three two. and four. Oh, yeah that's <laughs> one two three yeah, one like. two three and four clap clap mm. clap your hands oh okay does it go the same yeah it, it, okay. it goes the same so we way. sing the song once more yeah and then we say ta 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 okay just the first line three go Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Now say ta, 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 ta. Oh, wait. Ta, yes. So is it, where do we put ta, ta? Clap is ta. Uh-huh. Ta, clap your hands. Ta, ta, Oh, the first one. Yes. Okay. Lana, I hope you've seen, you've heard that, mm. where we have the faster one. Yeah. I don't know how to say uh, And it. you're going to learn. This is okay. just our example song, song but okay. you are going to have songs which are going to help us. Okay, you know, this one is longer, yeah. so it might confuse you. But yes. at least you get the first, first line, line that you can clap. Ta, 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 ta. Okay. Did you get that? Yeah, I had Okay, so I want you to see the symbols. Mm. The first one there looks like a D, letter D. <laughs> yeah, but it's shaded. But it has been shaded. The yeah. letter D, which is shaded, mm -hmm. that is a symbol of a crochet. Wow. Mm. So that's how the crochet looks like. Yes. Okay. It's written. It's not like uh, you can write the word crochet. Uh huh. And then the second one is a quiver. Okay. So the first one is long. The second mm -hmm. one is short. Uh -huh. So it means the crochet is longer than the quiver. The quiver so okay. for you to get one crochet bead, you must have two, two quivers. quiver beads. So mm. Lana, I want you to have a look at this. So that first one is crochet, which is equal to one bead. Ta. ta. Again. Oh, so that's the ta. 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 Again. Ta. ta. Again. Ta. ta. So crochet is equivalent or is equal to, to one, one beat. Yeah. Okay. The second one, which is a quiver, mm -hmm. two of them mm -hmm. will make a crochet. So oh. it is a half a beat. Wow. And that's why it is faster. Oh, now, now, now I understand. Uh, you yeah. now get I'm, the point. I'm trying to get so the point, quiver yeah. is equivalent uh -huh. or equal to a half a beat. Okay. Tate. Tate. Because when, when, I, when I do ta, it's the same as so I want you to do ta ta ta. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's and we are going the same, isn't it? Yes. We are ending the same. Your ta ta is fitting in the ta. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Hey, wow, that is so interesting, teacher. So f when you want to write them, music is written in a different way. Uh -huh. It's not the way you write mathematics okay. or science and technology. Mm -hmm. It's written in symbols so and written in a bar. Okay. That one is for another, another lesson, lesson. Woo, at another level. It. So I just want you to have a look at that. Mm -hmm. You see the red one? 
The first one resembles yeah. which one here? Number one or number two? It resembles number one. Which is? A the crochet. crochet. How many beads? One. one bit. The second one resembles? Does not resemble. <laughs> Wait. It's the two of this, eh? Two oh, of that. So when now they are, they are tied, tied together. together. Yeah, tied together. So it's like the yeah. that tail and tail. Where exactly, they, the they tails are, are together, together. But they still remain quiver, quiver, quiver makes quiver. a crochet. Eh? Okay. Okay, so if you are asked to clap this, you go ta, ta, te, ta, te, ta. Okay, mm -hmm. can you clap that? Ta, ta, te, ta, te, ta. Very good. Again? Ta, ta. Ta -te, ta -te, ta. So those are symbols, Lana. Mm -hmm. They are just symbols. This should not scare you. Just like letter D, mm -hmm. letter L. When you are learning about the alphabets, you have to learn through them mm -hmm. using the, the letters. Now here, you are learning. They are like letters, but they are not letters. Because you can see yeah. it's like a D, which is shaded. Which is shaded, yeah. yeah? Then mm -hmm. one is a half of the other. Yeah. So there's like a D, that's yes. English. Uh -huh. If a crochet is one <laughs> bit, that's math one. Yes. A quiver is half uh -huh. from mathematics. Yes. Wow. In your fractions, you learn about yeah, half, isn't half, it? Half, yes. It's you see, exactly, half. it's quite interesting. Yeah. So our French rhythm names. Ta, 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 te, ta, ta, te, ta, ta. ta. Now it comes. Yes. Obviously. Mm -hmm. Can you now clap that rhythm? Let's clap together, Lana. Ta ta te ta te ta. Again. Ta ta te ta te ta. And if you are counting, how will you count? <laughs> one, one, two, one, two, one. Very good. I Wait. didn't know you were going to get it. <laughs> you know, in my mind, uh. I was thinking one, one, two, three, four, one. But then again, uh. I've seen since they are the same. Uh -huh. One, one, two, two, one, two, one. one. So we yeah. go one and then we go the ta. Yeah. Start with one. One, ta. One, one, two, one, two, one. one. Then ta. ta. Ta, ta, te, ta, te, ta. Isn't it interesting? Very interesting, teacher. Very interesting. And, mm. and when you keep on clapping, you mm -hmm. are forming a song already. Wow. Mm -hmm. You only need now to put the tune, but the song is already there. Mm. Okay, now, activity three, we are now going to clap mm -hmm. rhythm of words. Have a look at those pictures. Mm -hmm. Tell me what can you see in the pictures. I can see a bell. Uh -huh. I can see two horses. Yes. So yeah. there is a bell. And there are, there are horses. horses. Yeah. So if somebody tells you to talk about th them in a rhythmic way, uh -huh, <laughs> tell me. Bell, horses, bell, horses, bell, yes, horses. Yes, exactly. Hmm? Bell, horses, oh. bell, horses, bell, bell horses. horses. Yeah. Yes, it yeah. makes sense. Does it make sense? Yeah. So we have bell, bell horses, horses, bell, horses, horses bell, bell, horses. So you can as well go ahead and write the names of the pictures. Mm -hmm. Bell, horses, horses bell, bell Horses, bell, horses. Yes. Hmm. Is it easy? Yeah, it is easy. So if you are told to sing a song about bell horses, can you sing a, a line? Bell horses. Just bell horses. Yes, only. Bell horses, bell horses, bell horses. That's a song. <laughs> <laughs> so the song is already there. Yes. But there are rules too to com compose mm. a song which you will learn later okay okay now if those are bell horses uh -huh. then bell and horses which one is long which one is long is it bell or horses uh horses wait hmm? bell horses bell horses bell are you talking horses. about the word or the syllables I'm talking about the word plus the syllable because you are talking about rhythm. Rhythm. Yes. If it's the rhythm, mm -hmm. then the bell is longer. Very good. Clap for yourself. Yay. Bell is longer. It is bell. Yes. Horses. Mm, yeah. Because two, two of that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So that's why I put the letter L and then SH. Oh, <laughs> so I, I this is the way I want you to do it. <laughs> Lana, I know you can do this. Mm -hmm. Now we are in the alphabetical list of letters mm -hmm. l 
SHSH. -S -S so L stands for long, mm -hmm. SH stands for short. Mm -hmm. So this is what you're going to say long, short, short, long, short, short, long. Can you okay. say that? Long, long short, 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 long, short, 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 short long. long. Say the words bell, bell horses, horses, bell, horses, horses bell. bell. Clap the rhythm. <coughs> say the words. Bell, horses, bell, horses, bell. Say the words. Bell, horses, bell, horses, bell. And the letters. Long, short, short, long, short, short, long. <laughs> so a rhythm is there. Now, wow. you can replace the long sound with ta and mm -hmm. the short sound with ta -te, ta te. Just the way we have ah, done. Now you've, hey, teacher, yeah. you've made it easy. Yes. Mm? Now the long sound mm -hmm. is what we call ta, ta. in French name. Yes. And the short sound is mm -hmm. ta -te. Okay. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you see, and you've done yeah. it already. Ah, ta, wow. ta, ta, te, ta, 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 ta. Lana, can you do one more time? Ta, 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 ta. ta. Okay. Are you okay? So we continue. Very, very okay. Okay. Now ta and tate are the French rhythm names. Mm -hmm. Ta for the crochet and tate for, for the, the quiver. quiver. And which one is long? La, the long one is the crochet. And the short one? Quiver. Exactly. Activity four. I want you to read the words and then recite the rhythms. Uh -huh. These are the words. Mm -hmm. Rain, rain, go away. Rain, rain, go away. Clap the rhythm. Rain, rain, go away. Brilliant. Ah, <laughs> wow. Brilliant. Uh -huh. That one. Come again another day. Very good. So. Hey, it's chair. <laughs> and this is a Magic. song. Magic. So, how do you <laughs> sing the song? Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Very good. Very good. So, ta. Ta, ta, te, ta, ta, and then the second one, ta, te, ta, te, ta, te, ta, te, ta, ta, should be ta, te, not ta, yeah, ta, te, ta, ta te, ta, ta, te, ta, 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 yeah, so sing again, rain, rain, go away, come again another day, and some people make it even more, um, musical and say, mm -hmm. rain, rain, go away, come again another day. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. This another sentence. We are dancing in the forest. Clap we, the rhythm for those ones. We are one. dancing in, in the, the forest. forest. How many syllables are those? We are dancing, dancing in, in the, the forest. forest. Eight. Eight syllables. So yeah. can you clap? We are dancing in the forest. Exactly. Ta te ta te ta te ta te. We are dancing, dancing in the forest. forest. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. So, that is how we read the words yeah. then recite the rhythms. After mm -hmm. you have recited the rhythms, you clap the rhythms. Yes. So, you see, words can form a song. This is so interesting. Provided you have created the rhythm. Yeah. Okay. It's true. Activity five. Now those symbols. <laughs> yes, that is a crochet. It's a crochet. Yeah. How many crochets are there? We have one, two, three, four. There are four, four crochets. crochets. And what is the length of a crochet? Is it long or short? It's long. It's long. Yeah. So how do we clap the crochet? Ta. Okay. Now I want you to clap those four crochets. Okay, let yes. me try. Mm -hmm. Lana, please let's do this together. Ta, 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 ta. Again. Ta, 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 ta. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. count. Oh. <laughs> count. One, two, three, four. Again. One, One two, two, three, four. four. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Then... This is another rhythm, group mm -hmm. of rhythm. Mm -hmm. So, how <laughs> many crochets are there? We have one, two, we have three crochets. So, we have three crochets. crochets. Yeah. And one, two, three. And quivers? We have tied. two. Yeah, yeah they, are they, are they are tied. So, they are two. So, mm -hmm. can you first of all clap? Ta, 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 te, ta. Again? 
ta 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 te ta now say the numbers, numbers. counting counting mm -hmm. okay yeah you clap and count at the same time <laughs> okay i hope you are clapping and counting at the same time lana do this okay mm -hmm. one two one two one why Wait. are you fearing just clap, clap. <laughs> one you are two right. three four five wait three four five one two okay three. let's let's see if you have clapped correctly one, one two, two three, three and four. Oh, it's three and four yeah, because this is another a full crochet eh? oh I it's understand. only that half yeah. and a half so mm, yeah ta te ta yeah, three sense. and four three. so this is yeah. the way you're supposed to clap <laughs> One, two, three, and four. So clap the first line. One, two, three, and four. The last one. One, two, three, and four. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now, can you remind me of what we have learned today? Yes, teacher. Yes. With pleasure. <laughs> okay. So today what I've learned mm. that uh, rhythm is made up of long yes. and short sounds. Exactly. And the long sound mm. is the crochet. Yes. And the short sound is the quiver. Correct. You are very correct. Yes. Also, uh. <laughs> I've learned. I've also learned that mm. we, uh, the French rhythm names are ta mm -hmm. and tate. Exactly. Can you clap for yourself? That is ta so brilliant ta. of you. So this is what you've learned. Rhythm is made up of a combination of short and long, long sounds. sounds. Uh -huh. Like we had in those pictures, if you can recall, mm -hmm. there were two pictures following each other. Yeah. Can you remember th the names? Bell, bell horses, horses, bell. Oh. <laughs> bell, horses, yeah, bell, bell, horses, horses bell, bell, horses, bell, horses. Then we also learned that a beat is a regular, regularly repeated sound. Yes. It's regular. It's very constant. And yeah, it, it can keep. Change. So when yeah. you are putting all your rhythms, the beat, but the beat doesn't change. It remains yeah? constant. Exactly. Yeah. Um, then another thing, mm -hmm. ta is used for a long sound. You said that? Yes. Yeah, I, you I found see. it. And ta te is used for two short sounds. Two short, short sounds. sounds, yeah. Then finally, two short sounds are equal to one long sound. Long Which sound. means two quavers equals equal to, to one crochet. Now I have an assignment for you. I hope you have a book and a pen. Mm -hmm. Write down. Use the following sentences to practice French rhythms ta and tate. Number mm -hmm. one, napenda chapati. I know you love chapati, so you mm -hmm. write down napenda <laughs> chapati. chapati. Number two, twende tu kalime. Number three, kwetu hakuna matata. matata. See that one is easy. Yes. Then, number four, let us go to, to school. school. And finally, the names of four domestic animals. Hmm. And you know, after writing this, what do you do? Mm -hmm. You write ta, tate. Okay, we interpret it. Exactly. Hey, that has been <coughs> such an amazing lesson. Yes. I've really learned a lot. Mm. Thank you so much, teacher. Yeah. Mm? Mm. Hello, Lana. Mm. Once again, Sadly, we've, can, we've come to the end of our show and I hope you've enjoyed the lesson and I hope you've got, gotten to learn so much in this wonderful lesson. As usual, I'm your host, Sheila Ligeo. And for the assignments that Molimu has given us, make sure you do the assignments because more practice makes things perfect and we want to be the best. So mm. we have to practice and practice. Thank you so much for joining us for today's music lesson. And I hope you'll keep on tuning in to our lessons. For any queries, if you feel like you want to just greet us, if you want to ask any questions, if you feel you're stuck, you can always reach us through our social media platforms on Facebook at EduTV Kenya and on Twitter at EduTV Kenya. And in case you want to watch our videos and maybe get a recap of our previous lessons, you can go to Kenya Education Cloud. And I've been your host, Sheila Ligel. And, and teacher Malimu. Joyce, your music teacher. And so we say, it's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye.